Hello and welcome back to the Rex Capital channel. Welcome to today's video update. I hope you're doing well despite the latest sell-off in the Bitcoin market, in the cryptocurrency market as a whole. As you guys can see, we are seeing double digit sell side price action in the cryptocurrency markets. This is just the top 10. So the smaller altcoins have been affected even more so. So we are seeing a lot of volatility and as Bitcoin investors and investors in crypto, it is a tough time in the market and it's just very important to emphasize that this is an outlier event. This sell side breakdown is the overreaction on the side of panic sellers, this cascading acceleratory sell side pressure and momentum that's overextending price to the downside. And this isn't just felt in the cryptocurrency market. We're all in this together when it comes to the crypto market but it's also going on in the traditional markets as well. You can also see that indices, metals, the energy sector, it's all crumbling down. There's a lot of sell side action across the board in traditional markets and also crypto. And if we just look at the coronavirus mentions, we spoke about this in an earlier video, we're seeing an increase in mentions in the coronavirus and we see a decline in Bitcoin's price action. And this is a inverse relationship that we were speaking about here on the channel, but at the same time, it's a relationship that continues to persist and it's a relationship that isn't favorable to Bitcoin. And of course, we've had a lot of news when it comes to the coronavirus that cases are increasing worldwide. Uh, Donald Trump has banned travel into the United States. So there's a lot of things going on. So the correlation isn't good for Bitcoin in terms of how it correlates with the coronavirus and the same thing goes for the traditional markets as well. So we are seeing a lot of sell side pressure and just talking about what I was mentioning in yesterday's analysis, my goal here is to always be objective, transparent and level headed with you guys. I always want to provide as objective an analysis as possible when looking at the price action because there's a lot of emotion, fear, uncertainty and doubt in the current market, in the cryptocurrency markets, also in the traditional markets. It's overall a very tough time on a global scale in the economy as well as in the crypto markets. So, so it's my goal to, among all this volatility and all this emotion to provide a level-headed objective, as objective as possible approach. And something we were talking about yesterday, and of course this chart hasn't updated, this is the BLX, the Brave New Coin Index, which has a lot of price history. It hasn't updated since yesterday, but essentially what I was talking about is that this black ILO has to hold but at the same time, I was objective by saying that if we have a breakdown from the weekly high low, that would be a black swan event for crypto. And of course, we saw a black swan event for the global economy in the form of the coronavirus and this potentially being a catalyst for a recession. But at the same time, this black swan event didn't affect crypto until now with this recent sell side and breakdown. So I'm just going to fast forward to the next slide here just to show you what the price is because yesterday we saw some respecting of the historical price tendencies that we tend to see prior to the halving and we actually saw this higher high and four weeks of sell side pressure and it is something that we've seen before. Four weeks of sell side pressure followed by holding here and what I wanted to see is price strength confirmation here, holding stability at these levels. And then in the fifth week, we tend to see volatility, some recovery, some strength. And it's that fifth week that is very important to see if we have strength or weakness, if we have follow through or not. So that confirmation on the weekly chart was very important. But in the meantime, since yesterday, we've seen a a very strong sell off in the cryptocurrency market in Bitcoin. Bitcoin dropped 28% in 24 hours to the downside. So this black swan event, this black swan scenario has finally caught up with Bitcoin. And we are seeing this very strong sell side momentum. And it's been like this for four weeks now, but now we're seeing that continuation. But to just provide that level-headed approach that's very much needed in this whirlwind of emotion in the market is to just understand that we are currently at the 200 weekly exponential moving average, a long-term gauge for investor sentiment. 
for investors. So it is maintaining price above here, which is positive. But the thing to mention here, above all else, to just be as objective as possible, is that Bitcoin has recently breached this weekly high low, and that's a gross violation of key historical recurring pre-halving price tendencies for Bitcoin. And this isn't good news for Bitcoin. What we need to see going into the end of the week, because this is the weekly chart, we need to see Bitcoin try and rebound from this 200 weekly exponential moving average right over here. And if we can see that increase in demand and buy support from here, then Bitcoin could return to that weekly high low above that weekly high low and close inside this ascending triangle, because this is what we've seen ascending triangles across history. And I'm just going to go to those charts. Uh, this is pre halving three. So we have this ascending triangle right over here. Um, with pre halving two, we see much of the same, a recurring tendency, the lower series of highs. And of course, this is something I spoke about yesterday. But these tendencies that we tend to see in Bitcoin's price action, they have been invalidated with this recent breakdown. So it's just so important for Bitcoin to return into the ascending triangle above the weekly high or low that it actually broke down from. So remember, this hasn't been updated. The Brave New Coin uh, index hasn't updated today. It will probably be updated tomorrow in terms of the recent price data but we've seen that breakdown to the downside, which is very concerning because this is a gross violation of the weekly high or low, a gross violation of the pre-halving uh, tendencies, which is why it's so important for Bitcoin to close above this weekly high or low for it to return back in to and above this weekly high or low, because that's what would rescue these tendencies. So we still have a few days until the, until the end of the week. It's still Thursday, so we do have a few days. So until we have that weekly confirmation, there's no need to be talking about what could potentially happen and scenarios. It's very important that this sell side momentum gets exhausted relatively soon, just in time for Bitcoin to save the weekly. So until that weekly close, that's something I'm watching for. So I'm going to be here for you guys just to support you guys during this turbulent time in the market, provide that level headed approach. But at the moment, there is a lot of panic in the short term fluctuations in Bitcoin's price. So it's just very important to zoom out on the weekly chart and understand that that weekly high or low is very important. And if we close below it, we will have to consider that black swan event being confirmed and we'll have to take it from there. So it's all about the weekly high or low until then. That's the macro perspective. The macro perspective here is on the line. The historical pre halving price tendencies for Bitcoin are on the line right now. And it is make or break because we tend to see outliers past the weekly high or low. And this has been a tendency that I spoke about in yesterday's video. We see outliers past this weekly high or low. So it's not something necessarily out of the blue, but we've never quite seen such volatility past the weekly high or low. We've never seen quite so much volatility and downside price action past the weekly high low. We've never seen that before. So until the weekly close, that's about it for today's update for today's video. I hope you guys are hanging in there despite all this volatility, extreme emotion and whatnot. It's all about the macro perspective and it really is a make or break point for Bitcoin in terms of the weekly high or low and the pre halving historical price tendencies. So thank you so much for watching today. I'm Rekt Capital and I'll speak to you very soon.